Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Maravit Education Center. This series is for Patum 5. Let's learn some vocabulary words. All right, you will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go. Habitat. Shelter. Oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Sunlight. Aquatic organisms. Please repeat the word after me. Habitat. Good job! Let's spell it. H A B I T A T. Habitat. Great! There are different living things or organisms surviving in different habitats. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Shelter. Good job! Let's spell it. S H E L T E R shelter great some animals also depend on plants such as trees for shelter and protection can you try reading the sentence on your own great Please repeat the word after me. Oxygen. Good job. Let's spell it. O X Y G E N. Oxygen. Great. Animal also depend on plants for oxygen. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Carbon dioxide. Good job! Let's spell it. C-A-R-B-O-N-D-I-O-X-I-D-E Carbon dioxide. Great! During respiration, animals give out carbon dioxide. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Sunlight Good job! Let's spell it. S-U-N-L-I-G-H-T Sunlight. Great! Animals need sunlight to see their surroundings to catch their prey and to avoid predators. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great!
Please repeat the word after me. Aquatic organisms. Good job! Let's spell it. A Q U A T I C O R G A N I S M S Aquatic organisms. Great! Aquatic organisms can only survive in water. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! In this lesson, you will learn that an organism lives in a specific habitat and has specific characteristics to make it survive in its habitat. In this lesson, we're going to learn how animal and plant adapt to its environment. Adaptations of animals and plants are important as poorly adapted organisms may not survive and reproduce. Look at the picture above. How do you describe its habitats? How do you describe the habitat of the bear? Great! This polar bear lives in a cold habitat and is adapted to the cold with its thick fur. How about the camel? How do you describe its habitat? Perfect! Its habitat is hot and is adapted to the hot weather by having the hump on its back. How about the cactus plant? How are they adapted to its environment? How about the water lilies? The example above shows aquatic organisms. These organisms live in the water for most of its lifetime. Can you give two examples of aquatic organisms? Look at the picture above. Try to guess what animal can you see and where do you think it usually live? What structures and characteristics does the tiger have to survive in its habitat? The stripes makes them almost invisible in the forest. The soft pads make them move silently in the forest. The long and sharp claws helps them catch their prey and grasp it. Their big and sharp eyes help them see well even during the night. All these are the tiger's adaptation to the environment. Look at the picture above. Try to guess what plant do you see and where do you think it usually live? What structures and characteristics does this plant have to survive in its habitat? There are many kinds of cactus plants, but most grow in deserts and other dry places. These plants have adaptations or special features that let them live in places where there is little water. The cactus is made up mostly of stems and roots. Most kinds of cactus have no leaves or leaves that are very small. 
the cactus is made for storing water, and water can escape through leaves. The roots of a cactus spread out close to the surface of the ground. When it rains, the roots soak up as much water as possible. In summary, adaptations make an organism live well in its habitat. Now that you have learned about animal and plant adaptations, open your science workbook on page 6 to 7 and answer the questions. Don't forget to bring your work to on the first day of class. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.